Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 20. In this video, we're gonna check out working with our knock control. So we're gonna be learning about what knock actually is, going in and calibrating all of our base tables within the knock control so it's gonna function properly, and then learning how to actually use the knock control to guide us in our spark timing tuning changes going through the actual calibration process in our spark table. So we're gonna have a lot of things to cover in this video. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check it out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our knock control in our EMU Black software. Now before we jump into the training tutorial, make sure you have your main tuning page template open. That will allow you to follow along with what I have on the screen in this tutorial. We can find that under desktops, open desktops template, and moving down here under main tuning. So we're gonna select this option here. I'm gonna click cancel and then move in from our setup page. And then we'll move across here into our knock page. This is everything related to knock control and actually doing our spark timing tuning process. I always integrate a knock sensor with the EMU Black on the vehicle I'm working with because it's gonna let me know exactly how much spark timing I can run when I'm trying to dial in and calibrate this table. If we start to see knock, then we know that we have to back off the spark timing because if we have too much ignition advance, that can lead to knock and pre-ignition, which is what we want to avoid. And that's gonna be part of, of working with this knock control, but we have to set it up properly. We have to program all of our background details in order to get the desired results that we want, which is accurate knock reporting, and then not having to report noise or engine noise that might be going on in the background. We wanna make sure that we're gonna be using this again properly. So before we jump in here and talk about all of this, let's just discuss what we have on our screen, and then we'll start to talk about what knock is, what we're gonna be using the knock control for, and how it actually works, and then jumping in again into each individual table and talking about what we need to program in order to make this knock control function properly for our engine. So off the left-hand side of our screen here, we're gonna find we have all of our live data. This is going to be all of our spark timing information. We talked about this in the previous spark tuning video. We're gonna find in the middle here, this is everything related to our knock control. So it's called knock sensing. We're gonna see knock level, knock sensor value, knock engine noise. The knock level is gonna be the reported amount of knock in voltage once our knock sensor value, which is the raw knock sensor input as it's coming in from the knock sensor, exceeds our knock engine noise. The knock engine noise is acting as a filtration floor. So anything below this voltage, it's gonna be ignoring. Anything above this voltage, it's going to be considering that to be real knock. And then it'll look at the difference between our actual sensor value and the noise and report that difference as the knock level. As our knock level starts to increase, we're gonna be attacking it with adding fuel and pulling spark timing. So it's important that we represent this knock level properly for the engine. We don't wanna have engine noise being picked up as potential knock level and then having extra fuel and spark timing um, uh, modified. As we're driving around, that's gonna create drivability problems and it's gonna lose power unnecessarily. So we wanna make sure we, we do this properly. So that's gonna be what these three parameters represent. So again, knock sensor value or raw knock sensor input coming from our actual knock sensor reading. The engine noise is the filtration coming from our table here. And then the level is gonna be looking at the difference between our sensor value and the noise. So if we're starting to exceed this noise threshold or floor, it'll report that here in the knock level. We also have an ignition. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.